Happy New Year. It's crazy to think we're already in 2021. Just gonna make sure I got my camera all set up here and that my video is rocking and rolling. Okay, it looks like I have it up. So today we are gonna be going over um, how to make this cute little Explore Pacific Northwest inspired um, shadow box. So there is a little kit online that you're able to snag if you like it. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna give it a few minutes. Just chime in and say hello uh, when you join. I'm really excited about this uh, paper pack we're actually using today. I'm gonna open it while we wait. <clears throat> so this is from Simple Stories. It's called the Great Escape um, Collection. So they're just really, really fun papers. Very outdoorsy. All the butterflies. I can just see these being paired up with so many projects and um, they're just really neutral tones and can go into a lot of people's places. I really like this one. Um, I could see myself doing a little something with some pictures and hanging it up on my wall. Or maybe on a glass block would be fun. Hello. <laughs> and then these are the the ones that kind of have some fun little sayings and blocks that you can kind of put a foam dot, pop them out. Um, it's got a fun little vintage map on the back. And then mushrooms. And then one, a couple other little couple words puzzled together and then got another map and some good plaid and then it's got a nice little sticker um, book in here which we are going to be using a couple of these today to help put our photo in there okay so I am going to I see I got some people watching so I'm gonna go ahead and get started we're just gonna go ahead and the back of this has some I don't know if you guys can see it's just got a little tabs you're gonna push on back to get on open just gonna set this stuff to the side because you'll end up needing it again the back of it and then I'm actually gonna use this guy um, to help measure out the paper set the frame aside I think I'm gonna use there's this really fun this guy it's got the bugs and the mushrooms and it says go hike and like uh natural trails or nature trails um i mean i put a hiking photo in here so i think that's perfect i think any of these are really perfect for any of those little northwest photos you have even just being outside anywhere so i'm gonna get my little fiskers paper cutter here and you're going to see that you're going to just want to end up cutting that little extra banner off that they have the, the information on what your paper is. And then it'll give you that perfect little 12 by 12 to pop right into your frame. So you want to make sure that you do have it pushed up all the way to one edge, um, flat as you can. I'm gonna try to get this lined up. It's got on the, these cutters, it's got like this little wire that I can see and that will be where my line is when I cut. All right. So I got this paper all done. And then I'm actually on the back side of my picture. I mean, it, I got two pictures here, so I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna use. Um, got one, me and my sweetie and my little puppy and then there's just one me and the waterfall so I actually think I might might mix it up I think I'm gonna do this waterfall one 
And then I'm gonna put a little paper behind it. That's the best thing is you're gonna have extra paper if you get this pack, so you can definitely do some other fun designs um, on some other surfaces. You can make a card. Um, a lot of options really with these guys. I'm gonna choose between one of those guys. I think I, what color do you guys like? Put on the back side of this photo. I got that green or kind of that brown orange look. I'm not really sure what I want. Just kind of, it'll pop that photo up, um, just making it stand out a tad more. Pam likes the rest. Beth too. I'm I just have to ask. I'm more of a I'm definitely more partial towards colors, so I always have to ask people. You're liking the brown? Yeah, okay. Patty likes the green. We're gonna go with the brown. Kind of a little split decision. But I'm gonna be throwing some moss in here, so you're gonna already have a little bit more green. So I think this um Brown will do really well. So I do have a four by six photo and I can either do a little less or a little more. Um, I'm just wanting enough to really just back that photo. I'm gonna kind of angle it anyhow when it's in there. And then I'm gonna cut it this way. Again, I'm gonna kind of, I'll have my photo a little offset so I'm not really just kind of eyeballing how much paper I'm going to need here. Okay. Got that nice and cut. Now it's just a preference. I do have a bigger piece if I want to have this um, a little bit more. But I'm just really wanting a tad bit of color. Just a tad. Sorry, I'm a little shaky this morning, you guys, so bear with me. Okay, and you can always take your little tape runners and you can do it, go and put on the back of your photos to attach it, so you can just go and always do a check mark. But I'm actually today going to be using just the stickers to hold it in, because I'm gonna use some bigger ones. See if I can get this back over here. Okay. Bigger is better, and I know I, I actually I'm gonna end up covering it with moss, so I really don't need it too big for my preference. But everybody's got different preferences, so I'm just gonna grab a couple stickers on this. Um, not really sure what I want to do. You guys have any preferences on the stickers? I kind of like this where we belong one. I might throw that one on there. And this little fern one's kind of fun. Hmm. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. I'm going to grab this guy. Maybe. Just really is a preference. I think I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna kind of pop them, I'm gonna pop them down on this corner because I got a, um, a vinyl that's gonna go on top on this frame. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little, let me see how this little, the compass, compass is cute, I didn't even see that one. This is like a little compass sticker here, you guys. It's really cute. It says explore. I'm gonna, since I already popped this one on, I'm gonna just go ahead and use like a, Fern though. Let's see how this looks. Just a little fern and butterfly. Okay. Now with the blue. Oh the, the life is an adventure sticker. That one's really pretty. There's a, a lot of nice contrasting colors on here. So this got a nice little blue butterfly on this. Or just a plain blue butterfly there. 
I also like these. Um, I've done them just on the corner of some photos. They just have their little tabs. I'm going to pop one up. They're really cute. Just for that little, little extra. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my frame. Um, it has this little insert here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this moss. So this is a nice little mixed moss. Let me get it open here. I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna pour it out so you guys can see what this moss looks like. I just think this pack has a lot of texture. So you got that nice like purple reindeer moss. This brown has a really good texture as well. And then some brighter chartreuse green. And then I got actual like moss moss. But I'm going to go ahead and use some of the stringy stuff. Just a little bit. So moss is kind of messy, so just beware. I'm gonna take some of this brighter chartreuse green. I'm gonna kind of rip it up a little bit because I'm gonna want some smaller chunks. Um, actually, we're gonna put this here. Use some purple. I really, really like this textured. I don't. I don't. If anybody knows what type of moss this is, I am actually. I don't know what you call that off the top of my head. This is really, it's really nice. Got good texture that I love. Kind of reminds me of a, just like just dried out, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep anything that I got down below. So I'm gonna hold this so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So it's gonna look like that on the other side. Just kind of filling that bottom part up. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this photo in here. I'm gonna take that sheet and just flip it. And then you're going to want to take that back side that I said to save and make sure you got your little hooky at the top of your frame. If you don't, it's at least really easy to flip the back and pop it in the right way. Okay, now you're just going to want to push all those little tabs I was showing you guys down. All right. I don't know. I'm going to kind of move those lights so that they're not shining down on there. So you can see it's got that fun little moss down there. And then I want to go ahead and add this little Explorer um, rub-on vinyl. It's got a cute little like branch here. I just think it'll add that little, little extra love I'm looking for. The hominess when I hang it up on my wall. So I am just kind of briefly rubbing the letters, making sure it adheres to that top transfer um, sheet. All right, and then you're just gonna pull corner to corner. If you have any of that stick like that, just go on back and, and push it, guide it back onto that transfer sheet. And then I do not have Windex with me. Usually I will um, clean this surface because it will help your vinyl stick. Um, and then it'll also just look cleaner in general, especially when you have the moss, you're gonna have little dirt chunks. But since I forgot, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in that corner. Just push it down. And again, with the vinyl, you're just gonna rub each letter. You can, If you don't wanna use your finger, um, just, definitely just take like one of the, you, you can take a squeegee or a card you have in your wallet. There's just a few letters here, so I feel like I can get it with my finger. We'll see. Then you're just gonna peel that corner to corner. Making sure that all your letters are sticking down. If you have anything that has um, 
like a dot on it. Make sure you're, for an eye, make sure that those stay down because there's many times I've pulled a vinyl back in a hurry and not realize I left my little dot on my eye. On my, a pan, Aaron says a Pamper Chef scraper works really nicely for these vinyls. My boyfriend has a little scraper he's used to put vinyl on things. Usually I have that on hand, but this is, this is a pretty simple vinyl. I shouldn't have too much trouble. There's another really cute vinyl. I wonder if I have it nearby. I do, I'm gonna grab it. Really, any vinyl that's gonna be longer wise will look really nice on here. Or you could just do a little small one as well. All right. And then it has Explore on it. I'm gonna show you guys these two vinyls. I think they'd be really cute on here as well. So there's this little Live vinyl. It's got a little tree. I think it'd be really cute for any of your Northwest Sea pictures or, you know, out exploring. Maybe you're just even camping. And then this one I think is really fun um, and would look really nice up in this corner. Just says, all good things are wild and free. It would look nice up there. I probably do uh, maybe a horizontal photo. It's really just a, just a preference. We try not to have too many photos of me and my boyfriend, so just gonna have a couple more photos of me on the wall. <laughs> Aaron said it would be cute to also write around the edges with some different colored Sharpies. Oh yeah, that could be cute. Um, I've seen people write, because this is glass, with some of the um, paint pens. That can be really fun if you want to add a little something extra. You could also take a, like a little foam dot and pop up one of those stickers that you like or maybe one of these uh, one of these fun sayings. Maybe like reach for the skies or this guy here or wild is my favorite color. That'd be really fun. Yes, we do have a bunch of different pre-cut vinyls. So there's so many options um, for anything that really floats your boat um, and speaks to you. But these are just fun. And you can always fill this up with other, something other than moss. You can throw some rocks in there. Um, maybe, you know, you have, you're have you having river days, so you have more of a blue photo in the background, some rocks and some photos of you and your family out on the water. Yeah, alcohol ink will work too to color this. That's really beautiful. Especially since they're transparent so you can see. But yes, that's all I have for you guys today. But we do have some events that are up going into the rest of January. And soon we'll be having some February things pop up. Don't forget that we are starting clubs um, in February for all of our groups. So we have a fabric group, a mixed media group, we have a paper craft group, and a bead group. So we always got, we have clubs going on, sharing new things, and work, how to work tools that are shown only in those clubs. We aren't going to be popping those up too much on our um, main page. We want to make our groups really special. So Please check those out if you aren't joining and stay tuned for some more events. You guys have a good day and good weekend. Happy 2021. Woo!